Hello everyone and welcome back to Drinking in Dungeons Plays Tales of Zestiria. As always, I'm your fantabulous host Shinkron. And uh, we're finally gonna find out what's behind the door. But uh, first I wanted to take a moment and talk to you guys about something kind of serious that's been going on with my life and it if, and the lives of some of my friends. Um, I won't go into too many details, but this is something that, since I have the ability to put this out there, and I know there's only so many people who actively watch my videos now, but I'm hoping that if you sometime in the future come across this video, oh, just in your random travels, take... You can go ahead and cut it forward if you don't want to pay attention to this part, but I feel like it's important that I say this and put this message out there. Be good to yourself. The things that you say about yourself, your subconscious will take at face value. Your subconscious doesn't understand if you're joking, doesn't understand if you're being sarcastic. Don't tear yourself down. Be good to your... Ugh. I am professional word gooder. I went to college to word good. <laughs> it's been a while since that's happened. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to the serious bit, be good to yourself. Believe in the person that you want to be. Tell yourself that you can be that person, that you already have taken steps towards being that person, and that you just have to keep going and that you will keep going, and that you won't be stopped. You can become your ideal self. And don't, don't let yourself fall into the trap of saying negative things about yourself. Even for the sake of trying to get a laugh out of people, even if you feel like at least then people are laughing with you, don't don't tear yourself down. Build yourself up. It's one of the worst things you can do to yourself is to be of the mind that no matter what you do, you will always fail. That is, that's not the mentality that you should carry. You need to break that sort of thought because your subconscious mind will take what you say about yourself at face value and if you are constantly thinking that you are a failure that you are not uh, who you want to be and that you won't ever be who you want to be your subconscious mind will work to make that true so you need to seed your conscious your subconscious mind with your conscious thoughts of I can do this. I am the kind of person that I want to be. Or at the very least, I am working towards becoming that person, and I will become that person. You have that power within you. Don't say bad things about yourself. You're talking about a friend of mine. Anyways, emotional crap out of the way. Let's go ahead, start up that timer. We've got some adventuring to do. Whoa, I need to adjust the volume. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Okay. Okay, should be good. All right, now we're going on adventure time. We're going to pay the Cardinal a visit. Man, I probably should have changed Rose back to her original outfit. I... Oh. What is this? A museum? I don't think this is a museum. He's awfully cute. Um... Huh, is this kind of guy your type? Uh, oh, I don't know about that. I don't dislike it. It's lifelike and artistic. I think those are actual Seriously, people. It's almost like they're alive. It almost like they were alive is more like it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He looks like Sergei. I think that's his oh, brother. No. You don't suppose this is Sergei's brother? Exactly. This statue, it's human. Oh, good. You're starting to. Stone? For real? Are we I fighting a Gorgon? In particular, such unpleasant cacophony. 
kindly refrain from disturbing my prayer. Your prayer? Is this prayer of yours what's causing the rain? Probably. Yes, quite so. Yeah, it's Why? a gorgon. To bring the people together through fear. That's a horrible, the stupid idea. The desperation shall serve as fuel, spreading the flames of victory for the Empire. To those who would stop me. I offer eternity! Okay. Way, if you make eye contact, you'll be turned to stone. Dang! Well... I'll break us through! Oh! <laughs> I see. He's blind. That's right. Oh. I can grant a seraph eternity as easily as any human. Okay. Can you now? Meh. <laughs> Here's the thing. I see by reading the wind. Looks like you should have saved a little eternity for yourself. Wait a minute. Is he shooting Monster. the pendant out of his palm? <laughs> That's right. Dezel can't see. <laughs> so that's it. He oh, he can see by reading the wind. He's blind. Now we're finally going to get the unveiling. <laughs> this Dezel, makes a lot things This makes a lot about your, this character makes sense. Enough. No more eternity for any of you. Those who dare interfere with me shall be slaughtered like lambs. Well, Ironically, I'm a shepherd. Use you as the Armatus when. Oh, goddamn! I could read everything by feeling the movement of the wind. That's rad. Maybe I was wrong about you. Okay. Ow. Okay. This enemy is very powerful. I got off right away. Thank you, Armatization. Well, in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep building up a combo. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, this is working. This appears to be working. Except now she's got super armor. Nope, nope, she doesn't have super armor anymore. Good, good. Just gotta keep doing my combo. Oh, and you're weak to win. This works out in my favor. Okay, let me see if I can use my Devon and Tiger Tempest. There we go. That appeared to be working. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Wait a minute, call back up. Can you summon allies? That's not fair if you can do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, you guys focus down the, uh... Yeah, you guys focus down the... Oh, never mind. Now we focus our attacks. Her ally has been dealt with. Never mind. God damn it. Nope. Nope, she didn't get to summon allies. I managed to stop her. Oh, wait, crap. I didn't stop her that time. Okay. Oh, no, not prior for his defense. Uh, God damn it. Ow. Okay, I just have to keep... No, stop that. Bad. Okay, you know what? Focus attacks. Yeah, comboing actually worked out in my favor, so why not? We'll just have to AoE her goddamn allies, and hopefully we can interrupt her call for backups by doing an insane combo like this. So far, it appears to be working. This actually is working out in our favor. Okay, you guys keep up the attack, and then I will rush in and... God damn it, super armor. Okay, bam, 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 stop guarding. Okay, now let's use Divine Tiger Tempest. Ow. Ow, god damn it. Stop that. Oh wait, that's right, I'm out of SC, no wonder. Okay, you keep doing that, I'll keep doing this. And this will work out in a both of our favors. Ow. Ow. She keeps getting super armor. 
I need to charge up more SC. I need to heal. There we go. That worked out in my favor. There we go. Okay, here we go. This is working. This is working. This is working. Until she gets super armor. Which she keeps getting. Why does she keep getting super armor? I need to charge up more. Can you keep up the attack? I need the combo to continue. Ow. Okay, well that worked out alright. I just had to remain armatized. Shepard. Rex. <laughs> This is not malevolence. I have given myself completely to my country and to my people. It still can be malevolence. What the? I am not corrupted by any malevolence. No, you you pretty you much. Purifier? You are. You well, just pretty again. much have become okay. it. Damn. I have a duty to guide the people. I must. I must see it through! Mmm, you can she see it through with weapons. another way. We have to stop it somehow. Also, your, we can't your model the is... Cardinal is willing to change her way of thinking. Which she isn't going to Not be. Not gonna happen. Let me guess, Rose, you're gonna kill her. So, Ray, if a heart set on justice starts generating malevolence, how do you think it should be stopped? Well... Um... That's what her angle is. She thinks her own personal justice and a universal sense of justice are one and the same. Then we need to show her that that's not the same, correct? Except how are we going to do that when she's we'll all gorgony? Please don't. That's kill going me? to Oh really? Tell me, if I were to die, who would be left to lead the country? Um, don't you have a governor for that? The young emperor and the knights understand oh, about Oh, I mean politics. an emperor. If the shepherd saves their souls, Will that stop them from starving? No. My, my duties. Oh, my responsibilities. Justice shall prevail. Okay. In that case, let me bop you on the head. <laughs> I shall be their savior. <laughs> I shall be their guide. <laughs> you know what? Just knock her unconscious for a little while. Oh. Her spirit is shattered. She'll never be human again. Her malevolence was increased by animosity. Oh dear. Towards us. Oh dear. Wait. Wait. Oh, is Saray gonna be a main character? Oh, Saray's gonna do what I think he's gonna do, isn't he? Yeah. That's the only answer I can find. No. 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 Sorry. Don't, 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 don't. Shit. Rose? Oh. Rose stabbed her. Maybe so that Saray wouldn't. Peaceful rest. God damn it. I'm not really happy about that, but it makes sense. Also, shouldn't she be bleeding? Why? I do recognize your determination, but even so, you shouldn't have to kill anyone. But, Rose... Remember, your job is to give life. Mine is to take it. Got that? Rose... I get what you're saying, but that came well, off then, as super edgelordy. Let's edge leave the up here to Sergei and the others. It's their job from here on out. You... You just assassinated a cardinal. Pretty sure that was not our goal here. Pretty sure some bad shit gonna happen because of that. I'd always thought of Rose as tough and callous. But I see now that's not quite right. What? What about Trust her personality has been tough and callous this entire time? Like that. You don't want Rose's feelings to go to waste, do you? I don't. I just... I feel so bummed. Bummed yeah. is putting it mildly, Saray. Uh, well, we leveled up. Take a drink. Acquired title assassin. No shit. Right then. Well then. That was a thing. 
Found a new discovery point. Let's take a drink, because there's a skit for it. This is the crest of Maltellus, isn't it? If the celestial record is to be believed, yes. But it's empty. Yeah, I don't get any sense of presence or lordly domain. Are we going to have to find Though the Seraph for it? we still don't really know what to expect for signs of presence of the Five Lords. Well, Maltellus is a mysterious kind of Seraph to begin with. Like, for the Shepherd's spiritual powers. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, but there isn't one for Maltellus. Oh, I was just asking about this My last episode. My first thought was that he served as a symbolic figure in Five Lords' worship. But there may be more to it than that. Is he Lila either? seems to know something. But it's probably best not to bother her. I feel sorry for her. In a lot of ways. I do wonder, how does she even come up with those things she says? Indeed. A mystery greater even than our friend Maltellus. <laughs> yeah. My best bet is that she just says the first thing that comes to mind and has a lot of really weird things on her mind. Oh my god, what if Lila's subconscious thoughts are the shower thoughts re subreddit? So that statue was Boris, Sergei's brother. Maybe we should, you know, say another prayer. Probably should. How oh, take a drink. Lila, is there any way to... Well, I... Saray, you're troubling Lila. I'm sorry. No, please don't mind. If only I was stronger. Don't be so arrogant. Is it your right to say who lives and who dies? That's not what he Guess was I saying! Jump to conclusions. Save your sympathy. Yeah. Boris accomplished what he needed to do, of his own accord. We should do our best as well. Yeah. We'll just keep on doing whatever we can. I'm sorry, Dazzle Rose. I see where you're coming from, but at the same time, I don't see where you're coming from. You're also... It's really hard to, er, to like you guys. Also, the rest of the party's reactions to you do not seem appropriate. What about Rose's character has been tough and callous this whole time? I mean, granted, there's been a few scenes like that, but overall, she comes off as like this smiley, perkly, oh yeah, yay! She might as well be a, a Naruto ninja, uh, because she practically yells out going, no wait, oh my god, she's... She's Black Star from Soul Eater. She's Black Star from Soul Eater. She jumps out and goes, I am here to assassinate you! With a giant smile on her face, it feels like. Maybe not literally, but that's what it feels like at times. And Oh, shit, her body is still there. Damn. Her body is still here. And I just got 51 fusion points from walking over her. Y yay? We should leave. We, uh, we should get out of here. Kind of feels weird to fight a boss like that and then have to feel a presence yet in Pendrago. That was not the real boss, was it? There's another boss fight coming, isn't there? Damn it. Hold on. Let's see. Have I been, is there anywhere I haven't been yet? Have I been down there? I feel like I might have been down there. I don't know. Let's double check it just in case. I, I'm trying to be cautious and not miss treasure. And the fact that they pointed out that they could feel another presence in Friend Drago, either there's a bonus boss here or something, or there's something that we missed, or we're going to encounter it as soon as we exit. So I'm gonna take the couple of seconds it, or minutes or whatnot it takes to get down over here and check it out because I don't think I've been down there yet. <sighs> I really do like this game. I do. But so far everything about Rose and Je Jezel makes me... Hmm? There was a Norman here. Okay, Flame. Okay, Flame. Okay, fly em. Burning capability... Yeah, sure. Let's give it to Rose. Why not? Is this the event that I was supposed to like Rose more for? For killing the Cardinal so that Saray wouldn't have to? I mean, I get it. But at the same time, your explanation of the whole thing needs work. Saray is eventually going to have to make the tough decisions like that. 
And I think that there are... I think that maybe there might have been another way to do that. But at the same point, maybe there wasn't. But at the same point, I also feel like maybe Saray would have tried. But maybe... Maybe that would have cost more lives in the long run if he had. I'm not saying there was a right or wrong answer there. But they needed an answer, and I guess Rose did provide it, but... I'll say. You want to become stronger, huh? I didn't say anything. It's obvious. What's the talk about wanting to become stronger? If anything, the only reason those guys lost their lives is because we were they're too late. And the only reason we were too late is because we were busy doing things that needed to be done. There was no... Even if we were the strongest, would there be any way that would have come out differently? That was not a matter of strength. That was a matter of timing in, and who happened to be available. We were not available. What we were doing was vital, was important. Maybe they're thinking if we had been strong enough to face off against the Cardinal when we first met her. But that wouldn't have solved the issues here. Hey, Dezel. Thanks for helping me out. With your help, we were able to win against Medusa. Yes, thank you for that, I Dezel. only did my job. That goes for both of us. You're a real jerk, Dezel. You're not really endearing yourself to me. That being said, I still like you better than Rose. But that's because Rose's writing feels really, really off. <sighs> Let's talk to... And that's a wrap, folks. Job well done. Again! Tough and callous! This is... This is the dialogue of a tough and callous person? Saray, what of the Cardinal? She dead. No more. Hmm. I see. Yeah, she you? was a Gorgon. We were able to convince the Emperor to believe us, but he wants to believe the Cardinal as well. Oh dear. To that end, he wanted an opportunity for both of us to have our say before him. The Cardinal's not gonna show. There's a chance she's kind of dead. His assassins. Sorry. Why, there's no need for you to apologize. I'll take all the blame for it. Saray wasn't the one who killed the Cardinal. A professional assassin showed up. You are not a professional. Thus, may these weary bones find peaceful rest. But you are not nearly as cool as you think you are. Leaves at the scene of their, their doings. Is this true? It is, right? The hell's wrong with you? Just say it. Yeah. I see. I shall report to my superiors That's about the assassination. That's technically not a lie, I guess. But to think they could carry out an assassination right under the shepherd's nose. The scattered bones certainly exceed their reputation. Well, it was right under his nose. Uh, I don't know. Saray is taller than her. I'm quite sure they'll be pleased to hear it. I couldn't save the Cardinal. I couldn't save anyone. Saray, don't... Don't do it's this. It's like Don't do this. How about we take a walk around town? Thank you, Lila. Lila, I like. For as cra many crazy things as she says, I like Lila. She she is a likable party member, and her place feels like it makes sense. And there was also a lot of build-up to her joining, what with the whole animated scene of the scene of drawing the blade, forging the contract. Yeah, her arrival was rather sudden, but it also made sense, and there was a lot to it. Whereas, it's like, okay, this person has been stalking you for a while now, and she's she's going to be a party member now. You have no, you have very little reason to trust this person. In fact, she ended up getting you in a shit ton of trouble right before her said incident of her joining the party. But she's going to be a party now, and we instantly trust her. Even though we have many reasons to not trust her. Many reasons that came up right before she joined. 
and yet everyone is talking about how trustworthy she is, and about how good she is for Saray to have her in the party, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, every, I can forgive a lot about this game, but the riding around Rose drives me insane. I hear she gets better later on. But I'm beginning to suspect that was the incident where she was supposed to kind of redeem herself for me. And I kind of get it, and I kind of like it, but I also re really don't at the same time because it doesn't feel well executed to me. It feels like it could have been done better, her, and it's it just feels like lazy writing to me. That is my pro that is my main problem with Rose is that she feels like lazy writing. So far, everything about her feels like lazy writing. Everything else definitely had a lot of thought put into it. It There was clearly a plan here. Rose, however, feels very shoehorned in. Like, it, it feels like they didn't take as much time writing Rose or the party's interactions with her as much. She does have a lot of hilarious bits, and there's clearly some effort going into her, but she doesn't feel like she belongs. And that's my biggest problem, is that it doesn't feel like they made an effort to make the, the party's trust of her seem justified. Like, okay, for example, Sheena in Tales of Symphonia. Warning, Tales of Symphonia spoilers for you. There is a ninja assassin who tries to kill the party on a couple of occasions and is is a recurring boss fight who turns out to be a party member later when you end up going to her world. The main character decides to trust her. The rest of the party, however, is very sus is naturally very suspicious of her. However, the main character, it feels believable that the main character trusts her because in those interactions where she has tried to kill you in the past, she very clearly he seems remorseful of her attempt but she also is very convicted of her attempts and you can you can feel that there was reasons written into the interactions with her to make her be like to make it feel like yes we ought, you should be mistrustful of her but there is also reasons to trust her rose i'm not feeling that and i'm sorry i'm going off on a whole rant and about it i shouldn't be going off on a huge rant about it I'm sure Rose has good reasons for her, but I still don't much care for her. I would have preferred to have kept Alicia, even though the reasons that she had to leave did make sense. What with moving to an in, moving into an area that is not allied with, allied with her nation, what with um, the fact that she is tied up in a lot of political influences, and if she continued with the party. E, they would keep getting dragged into them. I mean, that's why Saray was dragged into the war in the first place, was because of our connections to Alicia. Uh, and the fact that he didn't want bad things to happen to her. Her, because of that. They were actively used her as a threat against Saray. And it made sense that, yes, because she doesn't have a high resonance, she is putting a lot of strain on Saray as the shepherd to maintain her abilities as a squire. However, as a character, I liked her better. She was better written, she was more likable, and the party interacted with her, her better. Like, there was reasons to like or dislike things about her. her. There was reason, there was, like, a whole dynamic between in the fact that she was really easy to mess with, and that's why Edna liked her, her was because that she could mess with her, but was her way of showing endearment to her. Or it felt like. Rose? Rose just kind of feels like a... Just kind of feels... She kind of feels like an edgelord character. Her. Like someone tried to write an edgelord third character, but was too happy... Wanted to be bright, happy, and perky at the same time, but wasn't able to pull... But wanted to be like, oh, she's this assassin who... Who, like, was raised by the Assassin's Guild... She didn't have much, much in the way of actual family, and she's been an assassin for so long she doesn't know anything any better, but oh, she's also an assassin with a sense of justice and whatnot, and there I should shut up, there's a cutscene. 
and you got to see the Shrine Church, right? There's our touchy-feeling Mick Leo. We'll touch Leo. Thank you, Edna. Hey, hey, God, knock it off! See, I like Edna and Mick Leo. Oh's, uh... Thing. And I do like that they're... How working... How long is this yours gonna last? Rose. Nuh-uh, no sorries and no thank yous. You and I both just did what we could. Let's both of us keep doing our very best, okay? You just killed a person! Okay, okay is okay. And on that note, let's go rest up. I'm beat. Oh. Hello, are you going to give me some plot that I actually... that doesn't make me want to kind of punch Rose? I'm sorry, people who like Rose. I'm sorry. I know I'm not being fair to her, but at this point, it's going to be very hard for me to like her. You're awake. Yes, sorry, we're awake. Overslept. I know that feel. The Emperor seeks to rule directly. However, the diehard followers of the Cardinal have begun to act in very suspicious ways. So they're looking for a war, huh? Please don't worry. Without their leader, that. there will be no one left to keep them in check. Oh boy. And some more will die. This Not ain't good. Oh. Thank you. I promise I can stop this war so that your efforts will not have been in vain. Him I like. I like this guy. Thank you, Sergei. You're probably going to die at some point. I'm sorry. I like you too much. I know what series I'm playing. Now then. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Goku syndrome. Let's see what the serving. All right. I guess that Wait a minute. Didn't we just come from the end technically in a cutscene? I mean, I know it was off screen, but still. Of course he's hungry. He's done nothing but sleep. A lot has happened. Mhm. Mm For Saray. Guess his spirit needed the sleep. He'd be yeah. all right. I doubt this is the last time this kind of thing happens. Probably True. not. You coming? You'll get through it though. He's got an old you serfs. And I guess Rose too. I mean, I kind of like what you did, but I also kind of didn't. I've said that several times now. <sighs> Anyways, um... I should probably end the record... Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Am I just moving to... Oh, I was just moving to another area. Silly me. Okay, where are we going? Heading to the inn for dinner. Wait a minute, are you even going the right way for the den? No, I'm not. Just heard more talk of the universe from Beerus for a while. Apparently he's in the square in the middle of town wearing white. Or start we, wait a minute. Boris? Someone's in the middle of town wearing white. I need to see this. I'm gonna see this before I end the episode. Thank you, Mikleo. I need to see what's going about on about this. Someone in the middle of town wearing white. Wearing white's my thing. That's what the song is about. I want to be a white, white light. Or is it a bright, bright light? Someone pointed out that the English translation of the lyrics to the opening theme song could be come across as really racist. Someone's in the middle of town. Knights in the church are avoiding each other. I'm supposed to go to the inn, but someone in the middle of the town wearing white. That's suspicious. If I know my game, game uh, plot hooks, that sounds like a potential thing. Hold on, maybe talk to Rose. Okay. Nope. Nope, shut up, timer. No side... No side quest hooks there, but there's some treasure here, so it's a good thing it came down this way. <laughs> Drink for the treasure. Alright. Where are we going? Where... Oh, where would it be? Huh. Wait a minute, have I found this before? Yeah, I... Oh, no, I hadn't found that before. Take a drink. Yeah. Wee! Run, rolling around at the speed of sound. Did, 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 Norman for the win. Have I never been in this part before? Okay, you... SC recovery, wind damage received. 
Okay, that'd be good to put on some accessories. Yeah, sure, put it on the earrings. Earrings of Radius. Okay, that's another Norman for us. Yay, Norman. Okay, Geyser. Okie dokie. I guess that's supposed to be a water-themed name. Alright. Um, oh, wait, that's right. This way. I don't think I've been this way yet. So where's this person standing in the middle of the town wearing white? Or am I going to find out about it in a cutscene? You're wearing white. Okay, please do not worry about me. The Cardinal may have passed away, but the church is far from the lost cause. I am more concerned about you, you two. It seems as though the Prince and the others are still adamant and continuing. Oh, he talking about the war, it sounds like. Sounds like he be talking about the war. Okay, that's the Shrine Church that we, uh... We just came from. Hmm. Overall, that was actually a really impressive dungeon design. I like that. This place looks significant. We went as far as the other side of the Great Camelot uh, Bridge? Wait, Great Camelot... Once again, Arthurian Legends influences. Okay. So there's a place called Camelot in this, yet my friend insists that there's nothing in it that's based on... Le on Arthurian legends. Despite there being, you know, a lake named Lady Lake, a sword and a stone that it chooses the chosen one, and a whole bunch of other such business that I probably I should go and go to the I should go to the I haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it's tasty. You made an ice pop. Congratulations, Rose. That that's good for you. Good for you, Rose. Can I get a quick step boost, please? Quick step? Could you please? <sighs> I'm gonna ask my friend, and when I'm done recording, if this was the incident that was supposed to make Rose more likable. Because so far... No. No. Okay, let's go to the Gileon Inn. In we go to the inn. And cutscene. Shutting up now. Drago stew. I'd give that one about a 70. Oh, hey, it's the guy that reminds me of Sid. I heard about the church. Word travels fast. Wait a minute, is it that repeat on your sleeve? The shepherd. That is repeat on his sleeve. More than a few ways, but... It's a dog with a I'm pike. Good. You I'll can't convince sure me that's it. not repeat. I see. Moreover, it's a black so, dog with a pike. did you find anything out? Yes. Mount Tellus was not there. No? It's true. We Lila, went all what's the way with to that the face? The shrine. No dice. Miklio noticed the, the face Seraph too. Mount Tellus is shrouded in mystery. Some doubt whether or not he even exists. Spoiler alert, he probably does. The Shrine Church has been able to promote faith in Mount Tellus all the way back to the era of Asgard. That wouldn't be possible without the blessing of an extremely powerful Seraph, don't you think? I believe that Maltellus really did exist and was supported by the people's worship. But then in that case, the problem is, when did he disappear? Or did he actually disappear? Well, he's a crazy powerful mega seraph with a blessing that covers the whole continent, right? When yes. did he vanish? Same time his blessing went poof, I assume. You Good mean, point. the beginning of the Age of Chaos? Is he... If Maltellus' disappearance was in fact the cause of the Age of Chaos... What if he's the bad his guy? His name returns, I can't remember. The Ganondorf-looking fucker. It. Let's search for Maltellus. I'm calling it now. Hey, Pops, got any ideas? Well, aside from Maltellus' shrine church, there are four other shrines where the power of the Five Lords is said to reside. We went to one of those. The Trial Shrines! We were gonna check those out anyway. Yay! Huh. Excellent. <laughs> I really like Saray. If you learn anything on your journeys, let us know. Sounds good. I'll try to trace the old legends as well. Okie dokie. Farewell. Stay healthy. Thanks. I just realized he has feathers in his design too. I'll be sure too. to inform Agil and the rest of the guild that you are doing well, my lady. I'm hungry. That's right, we came here to eat. <laughs> okay. 
This seems like a good ending point for now. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining Looks me like on today's episode. Are starting to cheer up. Saray and Rose, I mean. Hope so. Saray does worry me sometimes when he bottles things up. Talk he to does, your bro then. He? But so do you, Lila. Don't forget. We're here for you too. You're quite right. Thank you. Miklio noticed the look. Now, how exactly should we go about looking for the trial shrines? That mural in Tentagel could tell Hold us on. the general locations, but... But beyond that, we're probably just gonna have to go and look for them. Hmm. Sounds like we need to... That is our only guide. Obtain the remaining spiritual powers. Well, let's talk to this guy. The howling season is back. Best not to venture out after dark. Life's too precious. Howling season, you say? Hmm. Alright then. Let's get something to eat. Rose, get out of my way. Hold on. Let's talk to you. We'll need to go back to Highland. Oh yeah, there was talk about of a shepherd in Rollins. That's what I heard. I figured it mu there must they must be somewhere in Pendrago. Where there's food, there's rats. And where there's gullible folk aplenty, there'll be con artists and equal droves. So we're gonna have to find a fake seraph, aren't we? Do you think those kids ever stop their banditry? Well, if they're still active, we'd probably hear about it in Lastin Bell. If you're curious, why don't we ask around a bit? Okay, we'd better go give Grant. Oh, we can finally give him back his pipe! Okay, it's a fantastic piece of work. I bet he misses it. I know I showed Wood. No time like the present. Let's go put a smile on his face. I bet that Gramps is in charge of one of those shrines. Howling season, what on earth? Not a clue. Ha! But I'd know a howl from my stomach when I hear it. Let's make a beeline for the nearest inn. I know I could use some dinner. Okay, uh, we're no close to finding these Irish gems. Maybe if we attack this from a different angle. How about it look, look for experts in age-old jewels? Pendrago has got to have a merchant who knows about old gems. Let's ask them. Someone tells me I just unlocked a shit ton of stuff. You heard anything about- Oh, can we finally go back to Lady Lake? Can we finally go back there? Some things, yeah, but it might just be typical city problems, but still, there's no shortage of trouble lately. Lots of pickpocketing, reports of police brutality, ugh, general social unre- Oh, we're getting political here, ugh. We'd have to go there to get the full story, though. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? How do you keep in contact with Sparrow Feathers? We have a rendezvous points where we meet regularly. Right now, one of us should be in Pendrago if you're curious. There's a shit ton of side quests in Pendrago! Yeah, you think the church back in Pendrago is doing okay? Weekly services followed by TNK and I'd wager. Or for better or worse, it's a massive organization. Too big to fail. Um, I'm familiar with the concept of too big to fail. It fails, but if you're concerned, we go to check on them. Okay. Um, crucibles we ask about. Map we ask about. We'll need to go back to Highland. Oh yeah, because one of the trials was over in Lay Lake area, right? Used to be that merchant guilds and government contractors and the tough could cross the border without much trouble, but their stupid war is gumming the whole thing up. Hmm, I did hear rumors once, though, of a hidden route that bypasses the basin somewhere south of Volgren Forest. Maybe worth a shot. Okay. Alright. Okie dokie. Um, well, we are all out of time for today's episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Oh, hold on. Huh. So where does one look for a wayward Mount Tellus? It'd have to be a place suitable as a vessel for one of the five lords. A clean and pure shrine. Or a vast natural landscape with no malevolence. And a shrine of trials certainly sounds plausible. The shepherd disappeared for months. Turned out, he was on the lamb. <laughs> Poor Lila. We probably drive her up the wall. I'm sorry. Seriously, I that's actually okay. liked that one. We basically I made lamb jokes this whole playthrough. Anyway. Time to sing the rap pig song. Rap pig, rap pig, with ears so sweet. Oh, you mean when we talk about Maltellus? Rap pig, rap pig, such tasty meat. Don't, the rap pigs are cute though. This is wrong in so many ways. We're not accusing you of hiding anything. Honest. That's right. And I can use the flames of purification thanks to you. We'll find out for ourselves anything we truly wish to know. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Pathetic. You'd let anyone pull the wool over your eyes, wouldn't you, Shepard? You Dezel? took the oath too, Dezel? Why would... Oh, damn it. Oh, boy. Okay, 
So that's all we have time for today's episode. Uh, thank you so very much. We will see you next time. Bye-bye!